welcome back to another episode of Polaris Garage. So I got a call today. I just got off work. I got a call today that something came in and um, we're rushing, kind of, to go pick it up. Um, I'm going to apologize real quick about the audio. This is um, testing out my GoPro to see how it would be when I use it to vlog. So um, yeah, when we get there, pick it up and I'll show you what's going on. So I just left UPS, I don't know if you can see it, but um, probably do like a little stop and I'll show you real quick what I just picked up. <laughs> I want to stay tuned for this. What's up guys? So I decided not to make a stop somewhere, I decided to go straight to the house and um, yeah, I don't want to risk, I guess, someone jumping into the bed and taking whatever is in the truck but uh let's go see what we got you guys ready for this my shed came in excuse my language there it is um yeah we'll go ahead and uh, open a box and check out the wheels so I ordered the Kansai, damn my phone, Kansai KMP uh, gun metal 17x9 plus 22. I want to make sure that everything was the same. Never actually ordered or had anything shipped through UPS. And uh, Shed is actually my second set of wheels I've ever ordered off island. And um, yeah. I want to go check because this box is kind of open. I guess we'll open this box. Alright, since the tape's kind of messed up in this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, perfect for the 240. That's fitment. Any tires? Yeah, I'm not gonna need that. I already know it's gonna fit on my car. Wow, that's snazzy. Shit. Just wanna pull one out. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. So I haven't done an update on the car on the 240 in a while. But um this was actually kind of a spur of the moment when I ordered these. I actually didn't think they would ship, but it's awesome. I love it. And uh yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and store these, put these in storage real quick. I'm probably not gonna get tires mounted on these for a while till the car is running. So we're gonna throw this in storage and I'll give you a little bit of an update of what's going on with the 240. So I picked up my head from, or when I picked up my head from uh, Tom's Auto after the resurfacing and the valve grind and installing the valve seals, I completely forgot something. You know, uh, Rethink it. Forgot that there was a stuck um, exhaust manifold that snapped. That's how I got the car. Um, I'll show you a little picture right here. And um, <clears throat> I ended up taking it back to another machine shop. It's actually one of my friend's machine shops. It's called uh, Speedway. And uh, he helped me extract it. So this is what's going on. I tried to clean the valve cover so I can prep it for paint. Um, yeah, I did that off camera. Uh, so I removed all the exhaust manifold studs because I do have ERP manifold studs that's going to be coming on. Um, shoot, I don't even know if 
can see. So it's kind of dirty. I tried to clean it. Um, this is from gas mixing into my oil. I really don't think you can see the valve seals, but head is resurfaced. Um, yeah, I need to get to get to work on it. Uh, I've been busy working on the GS. Uh, trying to fix my truck, work, um, but yeah, we'll get to this, hopefully do some work today. Plus also I've been, I guess, trying to figure out what I can use. So I actually almost bought a camera instead of using this Go my GoPro. Um, using my GoPro and I'm a little iffy about the, the way the audio is. So I actually ordered the, I didn't know that the GoPro had a mic adapter, so I can use my road mic on it. And um, I think they have the pieces in there, so you can uh, support holding the mic adapter to the GoPro. And also has a booster on it. So we're waiting for that, so the audio is better. Uh, I really need to. Uh, um, uh, still spaghetti. The brake lines yet from the GV Tech uh, ABS Delete. Uh, hopefully, I get a chance to do that. If I'm not lazy. Um, what else? Yeah, remove the head gas, the old head gasket. Yeah. I don't know what to do that. But this is an update. Um, what else? Yeah, I actually have to go get some hoses for my fuel because I messed that up when I was disassembling and removing the intake manifold. But yeah, we'll get it running. And so, yes, that's the update for now. But, um, you really want to see everything that goes on or that's going to go on you know like subscribe comment down below uh the gs should be working on it this weekend just need to remove the crank fully so we can remove replace the water pump and yeah that's basically it so next time wash your hands be safe and wear your mask Somebody